Hello and welcome back to my channel. I don't know what's up today. <coughs> I don't know. But one thing that I know is that it's time to finish up the Juno episodes because yeah, a lot of you guys have been asking about it and I just totally forgot it. So today we're going to talk about Juno in Scorpio because a lot of you guys have been waiting for this one so uh, sorry. Sorry that it's been so long. But you guys know that I just, you know, there's a lot of things that I had that's been going on, you know. So now I'm back. Now we are ready to do Juno and Scorpio. For anyone out there who has Juno and Scorpio. Again, let me know in the comment below if you have. Also Remember to subscribe, become part of this family, like this video because it does help me out so much and it just takes you two seconds to like this video. So I would appreciate that so much. But let's jump into this video. So your partner or the person that you are attracted to will be very passionate. Um, it is something that you're going to be very, very attracted to when you meet this person. Or again, this could be a person that you're together with. This could be people who are attracted to your passion, passion or your mysterious nature. Because again, Scorpio. There is going to be a very strong sexual <laughs> attraction, I will say. It's very natural. You will want to hide away with your partner. That is something that's like you again, like this getaway together. There will be a lot of fantasies involving relationships. You are someone who is going to, if you meet someone or if you see someone online, you're going to make stories up. You know, you will build this fantasy up with this person. Like you're going to get away, you're going to fall in love, and everything's going to be so dramatic and sexy. But with your partner, you're going to be good at, you know, planning getaways, like long weekends together. There might even be secret hookups. So again, there is this chance that you'll be involved in third party situations or um, affairs. Yeah, that is something that's a part of this placement. Obviously, you know, this can be very heavy, but this can also be something, again, this can be a fantasy. This can be something that you're dreaming about, but not really putting out there. Again, depends on your upbringing, like how you grew up. Like, you know, did you ever explore your sexual side? But you might, you know, be involved with people who are in a relationship. Both of you might be involved in other relationships. That is also something which you know in Scorpio. There could be, you know, a lot of fights. There could be a lot of arguments. Um, in a relationship. There could be, again, arguments when it comes to hot passion. There could be a lot of jealousy in a relationship. And jealousy could turn to possessiveness. Intimacy, depth and rawness better be in a relationship for you. Because again, you search for the high, the deep, the mysterious in a relationship. That's what you need. Deepness is, you know, it's... You like to go deep with feelings. You love you like to you like when people go deep with you there could be a lot of intensity in this relationship watch out for things spoiling up to self-destruct you might attract the possessive jealous or controlling girlfriend or boyfriend dating partners and you know with displacement you do desire a very intense and deep connection with a partner where you can really unite all aspects of your body mind and soul a lot of people with displacement um, you want to be together with someone who is connected spiritually someone who believes in tarot someone who believes in spells you might be someone who does that you like like again this is it's the same as having pluto in scorpio because i do have that and i know a lot of you guys watching my channel does also have that did i just hear raven that aside <laughs> but you like to watch crime series so you know that's something you might want to do with your partner watch crime um, series or you know be deep involved with horror movies it's a raven how fitting when we speak about scorpio and the mysterious aspect of scorpio you really want 
passion and security in the sense of deep intimacy in a relationship. Knowing that your partner is truly connected to only you. Again, there is a lot of like deepness in like the intimacy and the passion and love. It's deep lovers. You guys are deep lovers. And you're going to find someone who is a deep lover. But you do want someone who is staying by your side forever. Someone who is showing you deep devotion. With displacement, you might find yourself transformed after marriage. Perhaps, um, you know, the hint is the house area where your Juno is placed. So always remember to check out where, um, in which house your Juno is. Because again, there's a lot of deep connections with that. I will do episodes with um, the house is because that's where the good stuff is. Your partner might be deep, sexual and passionate. You know, yeah. And together you share highly intense moments. You will probably in a relationship go through, you know, emotional heights and lows. And in the, in the end it can really make you feel rejuvenated, like you can, you know, have such a high out of it that you suddenly just feel very alone like you feel left alone but at the same time it also might be very healing for you so it is something that's very transforming when it comes to Scorpio because again it's connected with the death card so transforming it's a very transforming relationship that you will find you are transform you are tra transforming through a lot of um, relationships you want to trust your partner with all your deepest secrets it might be easy for you to tell secrets to people that you really have been, you know, close with, been sexual with. You might really have this like, like connection after that you feel that you can tell everything. So this can be good, but this can also be bad. But again, it has this magical energy with displacement that whatever you do in a relationship, it's all very transforming and it's all very healing. Especially when it comes to whatever happened to you in the past. So if you get hurt in a relationship, it will heal you and it will transform you so that you are better in another relationship. So even too that Scorpio can be very dark, I know that because I have a lot of Scorpio in me, it's very healing for you. So that's something that you do need to remember. And again, if Juno is afflicted, you can attract someone who's very possessive over you, someone who's, you know, too controlling over you. Someone who's trying to control every move, every step that you do, every person that you have in your life, every thought that you need to think. You might find someone who is, you know, again very jealous, where you do have to always ensure that you are committed to them. Like you always feel like you need to say like, I love you, like there's nothing wrong with that, I, that is just a friend, or I was just out shopping. So again, that's, you know, now that it's a afflicted aspect you do need to be careful with that because it's not healing you might also find someone who's you know very secretive someone who's very mysterious someone where you never really know what happened to them in the past you don't know anything about their family uh, there's something you know scary about um, a partner if you find someone who doesn't want to share things with you it's a red flag and it's going something that's going to frustrate you a lot and again it's not healing and it's all about healing and transforming with this sign. They can also be very, you know, destructive. They can be addicted to something. And again, this can make the relationship very difficult. Again, it's not healing. So with displacement, with the good traits with displacement, there's a lot of passion. It's an intense relationship and it's not a bad thing because you can Scorpio is like that. You know, confidence is a good thing. This desire to merge completely with your partner. You have this magnetic attraction to other people. Other people are magnetically attracted to you. Again, you're very mysterious. Other people like that you're very mysterious. So the bad trait with this placement is manipulation, controlling, you know, possessive, suspicious, aggression, you know, this secretive, like people are hiding things from you, obsessiveness, and again, aggressions. So what is it you have to look out for in a relationship is a um, passionate partner, uh, a long a long term relationship where again you can merge with your partner where you have the same 
hobbies, where you can tell each other secrets. Don't hide secrets from each other because that's a self-destructive thing in this relationship or in this connection. You know, sex is a very important thing with displacement as well. So again, yeah, explore that area. Don't be afraid of this area. You have this like the, the power to get through everything with your partner with displacement. So again, don't let anything stop you. Don't let anyone bullshit you. Again, be you, be awesome, be mysterious, because again, that's what you are. But that is going to be everything for, you know, Juno in Scorpio. I hope you guys could use this again if you have Juno in Scorpio. Or if you're dealing with someone who does have Juno in Scorpio, let me know. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!